Hello everyone, and welcome to my Bachelor official YouTube channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribers button and give this video a thumbs up. Former Bachelorette Gabby Windy and her girlfriend Robbie Hoffman formally introduced their relationship last month. Since making their relationship known to the public, the couple has been sharing cute images of themselves online. In a fresh Q&A, Gabby responded to fan queries regarding her lover on her Instagram stories. During the Q&A, some fans questioned Gabby about her ethnicity and asked her why she had broken her Yom Kippur fast. Robbie is, Gabby wrote, I fasted as a show of solidarity. In a subsequent slide, she reiterated how much her lover has taught her about Judaism. I've discovered so much, remarked Gabby. Rob teaches me about history every day, and I like it. Even after watching The Prince of Egypt, I exclaimed, Oh my gee, baby, Moses was really there. Additionally, Gabby responded to some queries from fans on her time on the Bachelor franchise series. When asked if she had any regrets about doing the programs, Gabby responded, No, literally never. When asked if she still keeps in touch with her ex, Eric Shore, Gabby simply said, Lols, no. Simply said, We are overjoyed that Gabby has found love and is so content with Robbie. We are very excited for what these two have in store for the future. In an Instagram video, the Bachelorette star said to his followers, That's my new key to my new house right here. This house is brand new to me. Then, when he provided a tour of the land, he informed his followers that he would be working on a brand new project with his residents and requested them to send him ideas. According to property records, the U.S. Sun has uncovered exclusively that Tyler signed the deed to his new house on May 17, 2023, just before he left for New Zealand to film Special Forces. The house was initially offered for $900,000 in Hope Sound, Florida, but once it proved difficult to sell, the price kept going down. The 2,600-square-foot house, which was listed by agent Don Baker of the Keys Company, eventually sold to Tyler for $660,000. The gorgeous four-bedroom, four-bathroom house with a circular driveway and a half-acre backyard is now owned by the reality star. In addition to the other facilities, the master bedroom suite in the house has a separate bathroom. Back of the house, there is a large garage that Tyler has said he'd love to turn into a gym. Additionally, Tyler referred to the outdoor patio as his favorite place in the home and the balcony as something he loves. Fruit trees, palm trees, and other tropical Florida vegetation are all located around the house. The backyard could use some work, but the half-acre lot has ample area for a pool. One day, I plan to build a pool and possibly a pickleball court. There are many enjoyable things to do, Tyler said. The TV personality's childhood home in Jupiter is fewer than 10 miles from the residence which is less than three miles from Hope Sound Beach. According to a source who spoke to the U.S. Sun, Tyler's neighbors enjoy watching him run along the lovely scenery in the morning. Tyler discussed his renovation ideas in a video posted to Instagram. We're going to transform this small thing from ugly to lovely, he said. He informed his supporters that he would require their assistance because it was a big project. He has plans for the living room ceiling to be taken down, the kitchen to be updated, the carpet on the stairs to be removed, and one of the bathrooms to be demolished and replaced with his dream laundry room. He also hinted at future additions, such as a new wine area beneath the stairs, a podcast room, an office, and an additional office for the Andrea Cameron Foundation, the charity founded by his late mother. It appears that Tyler has a passion for remodeling and redesigning houses. Tyler discussed remodeling his former Florida home with Home Goods Assistance in March 2022 and offering it on Airmb. 
Tyler stated that he was focused on carrying out building work in an interview with the U.S. Sun on September 20 to promote special forces. I just getting right into construction. I'm quite pleased with how my many projects are progressing, Tyler said. And I recently established my fourth restaurant in South Florida, so I'm just expanding my operations there. In June, Tyler participated in a special forces training exercise with 13 other celebrities in the freezing cold temperatures of New Zealand. As far as Tyler was concerned, it was the hardest thing I've ever done. On September 25, the show's debut episode saw animosity escalating between co-stars Black China and Brian Austin Green. Tyler, who competed for Hannah Brown's Heart on the Bachelor series in season 15, made a suggestion that he could like to return to another show in the future. Former contestant on The Bachelorette on a recent podcast, Tyler Cameron discussed whether he would ever participate in Love is Blind. He revealed who he would date from the franchise as well. To hear all that Tyler had to say, Tyler Cameron discusses his potential participation in Love is Blind. One of the most well-known figures in Bachelor Nation is Tyler Cameron. His first exposure to reality television came when he finished second to Bachelor at Hannah Brown. He recently spoke on the podcast Out of the Pause if he would ever contemplate appearing on another dating program, in particular Love is Blind. Now that time has gone and he has entirely moved on from Hannah. Tyler firstly acknowledged that he is a major fan of Love is Blind. He definitely likes tuning in and has watched seasons three and four. The two podcast hosts are previous viewers of the program. They naturally wanted to know whether Tyler would ever think about appearing on the show. Tyler claimed that he would have completed Love is Blind long ago without hesitation. He was once certain, but not anymore. He believes it would have been a cool chance if it had presented itself earlier in his life. Tyler vacillated between considering continuing and not. He was asked to make a proposal to a stranger by the hosts. When Tyler became really agitated, he declared that he might propose. After giving it some more thought, he decided to propose since, if all went well, he would have a great tale to tell his children in the future. Even if it didn't, it was a fun experiment. This prompted him to state that while he still believes that physical attraction to someone is significant, he no longer places as much importance on outward appearances and physical attraction. Tyler claimed that he is more attracted to people who can become his best friends and who have a good heart. Years from now, when the physical aspects truly don't matter, he wants someone he still wants to be around. Then Deepti and Natalie posed the question. If Tyler could choose to date anyone from any season of love, is blind, married, or single, who would it be? Tyler stated that he would pick Raven. After giving her additional time on the show, she won him over from his initial impression that she was rude. Do you agree with Tyler's love of love, is blind? Do you believe he ought to appear on the program? Watch this space for additional developments. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't miss any updates.